<laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> We're recording. Oh, hi. Hi. We're super professional. <laughs> hey guys, so um, we're here to talk to you guys about these pretty freaking sweet dope ass headphones. So listen up. So listen. They're like pillows for your ears. Oh, they are. They They're are. so comfortable. Mm-hmm. So Studio Sweden sent us uh, three pairs of amazing headphones. They're the region style. Over the ear. Over the ear. Super comfortable. Mm-hmm. Me and Michelle got white. Yep. Liz got black. Yes. And... They're amazing, and we've been using them for the podcast now for a little while, and they are perfection. We actually can act perfection. here. All of us can hear in our headphones. Uh-huh. I can hear in With both ears. Headphone splitter. <laughs> and it's awesome. Awesome. Our splitter hated us. Yeah, it did. And I guess hated our old pair of headphones. Now the that splitter, we have these, yeah, the splitter before splitter didn't like our old headphones. So now we have these Match guys. Made in heaven. It is, and uh, they also have. Pretty cool features. Like we mentioned, the Bluetooth. They have interchangeable um, caps. You can accessorize. You can change <gasps> their the colors. They're fashionable headphones. You use them in everyday life. Yeah, they're really, really nice. And they come in all different styles. They have like the little Bluetooth ones that go in your ears. Um, all different colors, styles. Uh, so many, oops, so many options. <laughs> and um, 24-hour battery life. Yeah. And 20 days standby which means you can just have them laying around and the battery's not going to die on That's you. That's amazing. Pretty, no. Which is really, really sweet. Yeah. So um, they were amazing and kind enough to send us these headphones. So we want to give you guys a discount. You get 15%, 15% off. 15% off. Using the code One Tree Hill. Oh. Yay. Who would have thought? I, One Tree Hill could get you a pair of Studio Sweden headphones. Yes. Yeah. 15% so, off. So you go to studiosweden.com and use the code One Tree Hill at checkout. And you'll get 15% off. It's a pretty sweet deal to me. Yeah. And if you guys get your own pair, take a pic. Take a yeah. selfie. Take a selfie. Yeah. Tag yeah. us in it. Tag yeah. Studio Sweden. Yeah. Let us know what you think. But mm. definitely check them out. Yeah. And definitely check out their Instagram. Because it's, so pretty. it's the most aesthetically pleasing Instagram you've seen. <laughs> Ever. 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 Okay. Bye. We love bye. that. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> hey. Long time no talk, guys. Oh, hi. As I was manhandling the <laughs> mic. <laughs> you were just showing it who's boss. Yeah, I was just, you know, putting it in its place. Usually we're eating it, and then you were just, like, yeah. caressing it. Yeah, so. In the theme, that's <laughs> in the theme of the <laughs> sexual episode uh, that damn. we just watched. And Jeez. also the inauguration of our new format. Oh. 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 Yay. So. We are diving into season eight. We just live streamed the premiere. Uh-huh. Yes, it's on. <laughs> yeah. oh, sorry. Are we live? <laughs> are we here? Um, we just live stream on Facebook. So for those that were able to join us, thanks for hanging out. It was a good time as always. And if you missed it, the video's up there. So if you go to our Facebook page, just search Tree Hill Talk, you'll find it. Um, the video's up. And, you know, nothing beats those raw reactions <laughs> from the ladies. So Nothing. This one it. had a bunch. Sure did. Yeah. And they all Can't rhyme with to look at yay. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with what rhymes with yay. That's so nice to put it that way. Oh, right? I just rhymed. Oh, like, <laughs> look at us. Look at us go. <laughs> just let rhyme. Me know. We're super, like, energetic because we only I watched know. one episode of One Tree Usually Hill. we're so exhausted. I know you guys were a little sad because we're like, how are we only going to watch one? But I yeah. am pumped. I'm yeah, pumped. it's it's going to change it up. It was makes enough. It, makes Trust it fun. me, it was enough. It's it enough, was, <laughs> right? It was enough. When you get in these later seasons, I think it's going to be enough to just watch one. It's mm-hmm. fine. Yeah. It's totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, this is Tree Hill Talk. This is the One Tree Hill Podcast. I'm Ingrid. I'm Liz. And I'm Michelle. And uh, yeah, so we're here. We're ready to go. So... Um, we do have a lot of new listeners that have joined us Yay, that are welcome, slowly welcome. catching up to where we are. I know someone reached out to us. They said they're on season two. Someone, um, else, someone else yesterday said se- they're on season three. Mm-hmm. So um, if you are just catching up, you know, things are going to be a little different. But change is good, guys. Yeah. It's all good. It's still One Tree Hill. It is One Tree Hill. Exactly. Um, so. And we're still Tree Hill Talk. And we still right. are. Just zany and crazy as always. Right. So. And more energetic. <laughs> Hell yeah. So if we weren't Hell nuts yeah. before, get ready. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get Shit's ready. about to go down. down.
down. Um, okay, so season eight, season episode eight. one premiered. Premiere September fourteenth, two thousand ten. Ooh, wow. look at that little fan. Now, Ing, did you watch this as it was on in um, September of two thousand ten? We were friends with you then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, which is at crazy this to point, think that were you we in were college? Like at- yeah. This 2010 yeah. it was when Masters. I graduated. Oh, okay. From college. Actually, so uh, this was the semester I took a break in between my bachelor's and my master's. So this gotcha. was the semester I was off. So you had plenty of time um, to watch yeah. Andrew Hill. But I wasn't watching it live. At th- it was because by then I was doing the whole like DVR and then sure. watch a couple right, episodes. That's true. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't, you know, watching it live like I was the original especially and it was, after season seven and, you I know don't know if i'd be watching it live currently right and it, it this is where it gets a little <laughs> a little, a little bu- rough a little, bit. A, a little bumpy in the road so it was kind of like one of those like eh i've been watching it for so long i gotta keep watching right. kind of moments right. and you're committed but committed yeah so i did watch but it took me right some it took some work yeah you can understand why mm-hmm. which i feel no a lot judgments. of people feel like that yeah that's what we've found too right Right? Yeah. Uh, 100%. And I mean, we're all there now. So I'm going to lower this because I feel like it's blocking my view of Michelle. <laughs> I was like, girl, I can't, I can't see, see you around this thing. I can just see your eyebrows <laughs> moving. <laughs> and your eyes. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. Emotion. Um, all right. So what was the name of the The episode? title was Asleep at Heaven's Gate. Mm, and who who is that lovely title by? What, what artist? Oh, shit. Hold on. I wasn't ready. She's I'm gone. so sorry. She's it's okay. Gone. It's okay. Um, it is the episode's title originated from the album "Asleep at Heaven's Gate," originally sung by Rogue Wave. Oh, Rogue oh. Wave. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very mm-hmm. cool. And um, later on in the episode, we will be talking about the music in the episode. Oh my god, look at this! And it's kind of like a throwback because when we first started this podcast, we always named the artist that matched that the in episode that title. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. There you go. I don't know when we stopped doing that, but we just stopped. We just stopped because we were just... <laughs> we had so much other things to yeah. say. So much to say yeah. that, yeah. It's okay. Um, so... The episode opens just, up. Mm-hmm. Haley's at Birds. the river court. <laughs> mm-hmm. Stuff. <laughs> and Good. things and things like, and stuff. Haley's at the river court, and she... And she's all perky. She's perky. She's wearing an adorable little fedora. Yes, she is. And she's writing a letter to Lucas, but it looks like a scrapbook. She's got a scrapbook yeah. and she has a like note cute. that is like stapled in the notebook Yeah, with pictures and doodles and it's like my slam book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From high school. Yep. Yeah. And then, you know, they recap because it was a lot of like going it back and weird. forth. They recapped last, you yeah, know. Yeah, Hallie's like, episode. I have a lot of things that I want, like, that I want to tell you mm-hmm. kind of thing talking to Lucas. Yeah. But then all of a sudden it was all the recap from last right. episode from right. season seven finale. So. Yeah. Oh, oh, hello. What, what is, is that what sound? That? What is that sound? That's the second time that sound has happened. And remember, I was like, is that the computer? I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, oh that. it might be my computer. Oh. oh. Sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> Not to freak anyone out. <laughs> That's fine. It might be mine. Um, okay. Just now, now that we know what it is. Mystery my, my solved. Computer's probably dying. That's okay. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Too lazy. On this little blurb that I'm looking at here, it yeah. says, The season kicks off with a Dear Lucas moment where Haley writes to Lucas saying that Tree Hill misses him, the River Court yeah. misses him, and she misses him. She does. And there's a picture. And Tree Hill Talk there's misses a picture him. Of Lucas in there. Yes. There Tree Hill Talk for misses you, Lucas. Split second, I'm like, oh my God. The next scene is going to be Lucas writing back. <laughs> I was like, I oh cannot go. Not go. I cannot oh. wait. <laughs> Those bars. <laughs> it wasn't that though. I yeah, had no, no inkling in my head really? that that was going no to No little occur. hope. I got little, excited, little but also scared because there was like a piece of paper like halfway in between Chad Michael Murray's like face in the picture. There's like a piece of like, you know, it was like a piece of tape or something. Mm. I was like, are they not like allowed to show his oh. full face? <laughs> I got nervous, but then they did. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay, good. But I didn't think that he was coming back. That would be an yeah. awesome thought. I would mm-hmm. have been really happy about that. But yeah, yeah. Um, he did not. But yeah, after that, things then happened to them. Yeah. They recap. And then, and then the <laughs> intro came back. <laughs> and then and we then, were like, I, can we watch that again? Yeah, we can. Because for sure. that was like, <laughs> I... <laughs> 
had like this spasm. Like, I don't want to be. <laughs> my head just kept, my mouth was open. My head just kept shaking. Yeah. I'm like, Whoa. Someone make a gif of <laughs> Lissa Stevens. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, yeah. Can we? Okay. Anyone like, out there that knows how to make gifs. Done. Please find <laughs> the clip of Lissa's face when they put the intro <laughs> Gavin DeGraw song in there again and just, make it happen I'm and st- tweet I'm it to us. I'm still doing it because I'm just, I'm fattened yeah. by it. I'm like, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. But then like. I was, see, uh, I forgot. Uh, I knew it happens, but I didn't remember if it started right off the gate. I knew this was the season where they bring it back. Oh, okay. But I you couldn't remember if it, if it was like episode. episode one or they yeah. did it later on. And I was like, oh. And then I think I saw someone tweet that this is when. It, so I was like waiting for it. And I was yeah. like, wait. It I felt it felt so like it took a while. Fucking for it. random. It yeah, was so it was just random. like out of like nowhere. It was just like I don't want to. And like Lucas <laughs> the is bridge like, dribbling the basketball. Yeah. The bridge. I'm like what? Yeah. And then like uh-uh. it's opening and it's Nate first, and uh-huh. you're like James, you know James Lafferty, and I'm like what am I, what is happening right who, now? Who, yeah. who, who's who's this? <laughs> who this? New phone? Who this? So I yeah, it, it's different. It's different. We had some other characters that were yeah. in the intro, mm-hmm. which yeah. I'm like. You do not belong. <laughs> but, you know, they belong. I, they belong. They belong. But we list. just no. think they don't. You don't want right. them to, but they do. I don't want Kids them in this us. song. <laughs> I don't want them in this intro. Right. They d- like, uh, this intro is special. Just didn't fit, like, the song. It this was, like, is no. not One Tree Hill with them. <laughs> the bars. Not that song. The bars are going crazy right now. Look yeah, at all look the, at us. All the emotion. The uh, um, podcast. Yeah, so the additions... To the intro are obviously Quay, which is Quinn Quay. and Clay. Hashtag Quay. Use because it. Don't abuse the girls it. refuse to use Clint because Clit. it sounds like clit. <laughs> so <laughs> they have chosen to use Quay. So Say if you want to speak Quay. to them. You guys will like it. Trust you can only me. address them as Quay or they will not respond. We will not respond. Yeah, we won't. No. Um, Hashtag Quay. So they're in it. So is Millicent. Millie. Lisa Goldstein is yes. her name, right? Um, um, Jackson. Who, Jackson, Jackson made cutie. an appearance. And uh, obviously, they still had Mouth in there. Right. They still we didn't had see Mouth at all. He episode. wasn't in this episode. Yeah. He's, you and know, we had just chilling. Oh, uh, we had. So uh, it just got much quieter. What was that? The fridge. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I didn't notice and, the um, sound until Austin, it turned off. And I was like, oh, wow. Austin Nichols got his first. Right. Yes. Know, not guest starring. Now he's in the show. Yeah. Um, Chase wasn't in there, right? No. He's yeah. still yeah. Guest. It said guest starring. It said guest. Uh, uh, Stephen and Cuddy I think and every starring Kate Vogel, right? Yeah, okay, and that was it. Yeah, <laughs> it was like and then everyone else was on the show. <laughs> yeah, so then it was like Nathan Haley, Nathan Haley, Quinn, Brooke, was, Brooke, Brooke, Julian, Julian, Mouth, Clay, Mouth, Jackson, Jackson. We said Clay, Millicent. That was it. That's yeah. it. That's mm-hmm. it. And Gavin singing. And Gavin. What? I was like, but it's wow. It's the bridge with Lucas. Yeah, like. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Why? Yeah. Why? Because that's like the I classic know. intro. But if you're going to put these newbies in there, then I don't know. I know. If someone can find out why they took away the intro and decided to bring it back now, yeah, this why season. Why did you decide well, to bring it back? Didn't Lee, Lee actually. Yeah. yeah. Lee yeah. said that they stopped because it took away from like the time, the time of, the of the episode, episode right. but why the decision to bring it back and to right. add in like the all these new i mean mm-hmm. obviously right. you it, have to put the new cast in right. but why did we decide to mm-hmm. do that like why now why right. not last was, season with the new right. cast right yeah was the song the song was the same length you think like <laughs> i i'm just do you know yeah, what I'm saying? I like, think it was. It was the same so. exact yeah. length that they yeah. copy paste put in, just mm-hmm. the different pictures, right? Same, yeah. yeah. Same amount of time wasted on the intro, right? right. So yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, maybe they why? had maybe first episode they were like, let's cut cut back a little bit yeah. on the drama and just put yeah. the intro. I, uh, we'll, we'll see. I guess we shall see. Interesting. Weird. Yeah, I was baffled i was like oh, what is happening here <laughs> it was my as soon as favorite. i heard the dur, dur, i'm like oh, 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 i i <laughs> thought something happened but then i'm like wait we bought this so yeah. it's not netflix going to like no season it's one back and it's every episode it's like this is it now yeah we gotta we're committed this is the new this? black screen this we got nervous the... when they got the black screen yeah and now this is like now, the now i'm like nervous like, for this yeah for the intro for the intro <laughs> yeah you oh should be. God. Oh. You should be. 
starting off on a weird foot. <laughs> things as are I happening. thought it would. Things are happening. As I yeah. thought it would. Things yeah, on yeah, a weird foot. Anyway. Yeah, it, I I was just weird. It was just weird. This anyway. whole episode is just gonna be us talking about the intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this whole that's how the episode started. Yeah. Weirdly, and then the, it continued to be just bizarre. Right. And so, then at the end, it was all made up, so it didn't matter. Yep. <laughs> jk jk it was a very but it was a, michelle said during when we were watching it she said it was a very the one tree hill move yeah yes for sure so 100 okay so after we have the scene with Haley uh writing her little In the notebook. notebook for mm-hmm. luke um we see that quinn is shot clay wakes up and they reassure uh, she reassures him that they are fine and i was like oh what? and michelle then and the I girls just lose their shit <laughs> Because if you go, if you are a Patreon pledge on our Patreon page, we have a pre-show that Michelle and I predict Mm -hmm. um, what can possibly happen for now. Only one episode when we did two, we predict for the two, but we predicted um, like all this stuff surrounding Quay and then it was like, oh, just kidding. (laughs) They're fine. Yeah. And I was like, really? I just wasted so much energy, like, complaining about how stupid that plot line was. Yeah. And how stupid, like, and then inside everything I'm like, was. Hee. And then I'm like, and then I was kind of relieved. I was like, you know what? Thank God, because I can't deal with, like, sad Haley, sad everyone, dead people. And then, like, they just, that all just went to shit. So, mm-hmm. I'm kind but of as the episode now. went on, I feel like we got, I got Clues. more and more hints, and I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't right. pick up on it, and I usually do. And I yeah, really usually you're it. on top of it. Yeah. You know? I'm usually like into I that think, drama. I think because you don't give a shit about them, yeah, you probably. were just like turning like any radar yes. to yes. figuring it out off. And right. every time we had to go see Quay, I'm like, fuck. I know. As soon as we like Come panned on. to the beach, I was like, no. So mad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was not a happy camper. Yeah. But nope. You were not. Doesn't matter because they're shot. And they've been shot. <laughs> doesn't matter because they're shot. <laughs> they've been well, shot wait, and probably don't, waiting don't for a good 24 <laughs> hours. Sorry. Baby. I'm sorry. I can't. I, it's just weird. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, All right. So. After that scene. We have Nathan and Haley are in bed, and he says that he is leaving to go on tour the next day. He also hopes that they can have a girl just like her. Yeah. yeah. Um, Brooke, and then Brooke tells Julian about building snow forts with Peyton and about how lucky they all are. Yeah, she said Peyton. Yeah. And we even had a little scene where Julian's, like, closing or opening the fridge or whatever, and you see pictures of Peyton, yes. like, high school Peyton with yeah. the short, yeah. straight That's hair, cute. like, yeah. circa shooting hair. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> And they're, you know, oh my it's God, nice. Yeah. It's, I like that we at least got to see Lucas and Peyton. We did see yeah. pictures of them. I'll take them. It. Little mentioned. nuggets. Little nuggets. For we sure. live for those nuggets. Yeah, at this point. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, else, what else is there to live for? <laughs> um, yeah. And. Well, I liked that it, like, continued, like, the first, like, scene after the intro mm-hmm. was Nate and Jamie working out. Yeah. And Jamie's like on his back and he's doing push ups. And then he rolled him up in that cute little burrito. Oh, yeah. That was, that was really funny. cute. And he starts he benching him. Ben- yeah. Yeah. Very cute. Uh, yeah. Arm and curling him. Fucks. Nathan, <laughs> this episode was, yeah, Prime. my favorite. Prime Nate. Yeah. Prime Nate. Yeah. And Nate then, was... yeah. And did you guys like the way they kind of just like said family of four? I know. <laughs> like and right after that, right. they were just like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're a family of four. Yeah. And then having a baby, no big deal. Smacks the belly. Like, and be- oh, okay, NBD. Cool. Yeah. Well, because at first Nathan says it as a joke, so right? And, he, and it yeah. looked like Haley was like, Haley was like, oh shit. Oh. And then Haley's kind of like, you know She's what? Like, oh, so. well, let's just tell him. Yeah. Yeah. A little soon. <laughs> well, let's just tell him. <laughs> I was looking at my notes, I wrote that intro. <laughs> <laughs> that intro <laughs> exclamation point. Oh. Um. Let's see. Uh. So. Going by this, it says that morning Nathan and Haley tell Jamie about the pregnancy. Yes. Yeah. Um, Mia finds out about Chase and Alex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Checks. Checks. That. Next. Whoop whoop. Um, Clay and Quinn spend the day at the beach. <laughs> and and I like that this just writes there's a sound vibrating. <laughs> Shell's rolling her eyes. Which oh. looking back, it makes sense because yeah. they've been trying to reach both. Everyone's of them. trying to reach them, so they keep hearing right. phones right. the phone vibrating. Yeah. Um and he said, Oh, I didn't bring my phone. And then they kind of it's like they're throwing little clues. Because yeah. then we have the scene where Nathan and Haley are laying there and and she's like, Oh, have you heard from Quinn? And to reach Quinn. 
um, Clay and he's like, oh, you know, tradition that, you know, I he ignores me the day before right. I leave for whatever he does with basketball. I was about to say tour. It's whatever not tour. He goes. Um, the NBA, NBA, the but the travel, like, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Sports. Yeah. Sports. Yes. Things. Tour, sports though. Words that I don't yeah. know. Um, yeah. So they're hearing the vibrating, but they kind of just keep playing it off yeah. as nothing. Yeah. Because they're bleeding out. I'm bleeding. So their souls are hanging out. <laughs> right. But like the line of that's totally crotch. I oh know. God, <laughs> I know. Someone on Twitter We're like, tweeted uh, us uh, that. Uh, 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 uh. It was just that the Quay scenes, again, like last episode, were so sexualized. Yeah. Yeah. Mark. The he who Sick. shall not be named. Yes. I did not want to. But yeah, I know. Totally. I know. It's hard. It's now it's after hard. this, it's all this hard. happened. This every whole time. episode just. In, all the girls overall, were naked. They were all naked. Yeah. They were and, all naked. And it was talking about sex. Oh, let's let's make a baby all day, neck tomorrow, you know, and then mm-hmm. the whole and then Quay all together and then Nailey had sex. It was just like ever and then Jamie talking about what is and sex. And then Alex putting so the sex. cherry stem. Yeah, it just mm-hmm. so much sex. Which you no, know, normally a girl is about that. Yeah. But this is, now that I know what I know. Now I'm not about especially because he, he who shall not be named wrote and directed this episode. Right. It gives me the heebies. So the heebies I'm just and like, the jeebies. I just want to be like, no, stop, go away. Put clothes on these poor women yeah, these poor women though they're beautiful Ugh. and they rock it all of them yeah we don't it's we don't need it's much. not it's necessary it's not necessary for a show it's just not no. yeah. we yeah. don't need it no. okay um let's see well after do you want me to yeah go for it okay um well after that after the whole crotch it like jumps it's, Everything it's quick. I it's know, quick. And then quick. we're on the river court with mm-hmm. Nate and Jamie. Yep. And Jamie's doing really cute accents. Oh, yes. yeah. Very he did funny. New York, yeah. Boston, and LA. Which were spot on. They were pretty good. They pretty were. good. I love that New York <laughs> was just like, hey, yeah. Tony's going to so, like, kill you yeah. if yeah. you don't. Like, yo. I'm like, not everyone talks like uh, that from here. <laughs> I know. But it was funny. And uh, Boston was pretty good. And I like that Nathan corrected when he said retard. Yeah. He said, yeah. we don't, you don't say it's that word. It's not the word. PC term anymore. Right. So you don't say that. it. That's such good. Didn't you write a good daddy? Good daddy. Oh, good daddying. Good daddying. Loved that. Um, yeah. Nate is just a good, good pop. And that's, and Jamie is, that's when he asks, you know, how does it work? How does the baby thing work? Yeah. yeah. I think I t- wrote that down as well. And, and yeah. So that and baby and thing. How does, how does that, that work? work? How yeah. does that work? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How does it work, Nate? <laughs> And then, and then it's like Nate and Haley, or they, we go to the next scene. Right, and so many jumps. Yeah, and so Nate tells how he d- describes it as basketball hoops, right? Yeah, yeah. basketball yeah. hoops. And like her, Haley her uterus, over, her uterus, uterus yeah. is the basketball hoop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he's just terrible at it. And I really like that scene a lot with Haley yeah. and Nate, and how he's just so. And he said that he was like a ninja, like a three foot ninja yeah. that just yeah. <laughs> attacked him with the baby question yeah and then he mentions like the birds and the bees so then he jamie ends up being confused with bunnies because then Haley <laughs> tries and she says like, oh chester first falls in love yep. and then gets married Thank so God. in his head he's like okay so there's basketball hoops Bunny, bur- bunnies rabbit, rabbits yeah. rabbits um Bees and birds. Very confusing. The kid is like, what the hell? And but he's who a very better, smart child. Who better than Chuck to help Chuck. him figure it all out <gasps> with the S-E-X. The That's S-E-X. That's what he says. Hysterical. And they decide they're going to Google uh, lady rabbit sex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which clearly... I was like, ooh, that is not good. Yeah. And you know what I'm thinking, too? Like, the kids, like Jackson and Michael, like... Lady Rabbit sex, is that really what they should be saying on the television show? Yeah. I don't know about that. Well, they didn't he's like, say oh, my it. mommy has one of those. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, was I was like, like oh. It's such a Chuck thing to say. Yeah. Though. yeah. It is a I'm very like, this Chuck. is uncomfortable. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> they take off the child uh, security, whatever, off of the yeah. computer. Block. The block. Not good. And I did really like the line where Haley says, I hope you understand you're not in trouble because you're curious. Love That's that. fine. You're in trouble because you broke your promise of not remove, you know, to not remove right. the security block. Right. I like that. Yeah, I liked that too. They were, the parenting was 
their parenting is really today. good today you yeah, know today. other than when they leave their kids in the fields and <laughs> when jb just stole gets kidnapped all the time <laughs> yeah they learned no they really learned they learned lesson. yeah, they're, yeah they're good they do um since we're talking about nathan and Haley, they also both go to the doctor yeah, that was awkward. That so, was a weird scene. So they both are getting like check checkups pretty much. Her mm-hmm. because she's pregnant and Nate because he's about to go back to the NBA. And they both ask, is everything okay? And the doctor said, both doctors say, everything's fine. I just need to run some, some tests. 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 So we'll yeah. definitely come back to that. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yet they did say that both of them said, yeah, everything's okay. Yeah, everything's each other. fine. Mm-hmm. Is it though? I'm wrong. Is it though? Is I wrote, it? what? who's having the issue? Because I'm like, who, who, who's it going to be? <laughs> who's it going to be? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we could talk about predictions later a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Um, let's see. My, no- <laughs> my I liked, notes are everywhere. I liked, um, well, I also, I mean, if we want to stay with Haley Neat, I yeah. liked, you know, this whole episode, Nate's trying to get Haley to come to Charlotte with yeah. him. Yeah, he really And how much he's going to miss and, Jamie. And, Jamie. Mm-hmm. and that's been brought up. A lot. The episode. Mm-hmm. Like every time they're together, he, he keeps brings it up. Bringing yeah. it up again. Like, I he packed b- your bags already. Yeah. Yeah. He even says Brooke can watch Jamie and yeah. you can come. Oh, yeah. he's so lonely. sweet. Yeah. And I love when it's it looks like they're about to finally sit together and talk to Jamie about, you know, the whole sex thing and where babies come from. And then he's like, We could do that or you yeah. can play the new Gears of War game I got you as a goodbye gift. And of course, Jamie picks that. Yeah, you and then right about he it. wrote, he says, make war, not love, babe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I was like, oh, what a good, good dad move. Yeah. Let's play video games and not talk about what we got to talk about. He's like, that's good for like a whole, we are like down for a whole year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're safe for a year. Yeah. That's going to distract him. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think with Haley and Nathan, is there anything else we wanted to touch on with them? The only thing. It was like the last scene we saw of them together and it was by the pool. Cool, yeah. And she's still working on that scrapbook. Mm-hmm. Right. But I just felt like Haley and Nate were all over the house in this episode. Yeah. They're in the bed. They're, in the they're, they're bed downstairs. Like, yeah. Yeah. They're by the pool. Like randomly, she's just sitting outside in the pool and he comes and sits next to her. I, I just made a note of that, like all over the house. <laughs> All over the house. Everywhere. <laughs> all over the house. Ha- I wanted mean, to refresh your memory of how yeah. go- gorgeous their house is. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And then the other thing of, if if you want to go to Haley, is how she's telling everyone that she's pregnant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she can't reach Haley, She can't reach Quinn. Yeah. But then she shows up oh. at Brilliance. <laughs> yeah. And interrupts their grease lightning <laughs> moment. <laughs> Though. That was. Julian crazy. in the jacket. Adorable. I'm about that. I'm about it. I'm about the hair swoop. I'm about the love about, his hair. I was about his hair is and like really hardcore in this episode. I was like, yes. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Julian was looking good. Um, I love that Brooke had the uh, pink ladies jacket yeah. on. I loved when Julian said that ring looks sexy on you. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, you look sexy on me. And then <laughs> Julian had really funny lines. It was really Ju- like, The yes. boys were all really funny. Well, um, this dead. episode, he's dying. well, he's, <laughs> he's bleeding. <out. laughs> he's he's dying. Dead. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I liked, uh, Julian had some, some good lines where, you know, we should try for a few hours and then we can practice for a few more hours yeah. about like trying to make babies. Yeah. And then, um, I know I wrote, and he wants a grease to your wedding. He has his whole he's wedding plan. So obsessed Peonies, with grease. What was it? Like black a, and pink, black and pink yeah. colors. Uh, orange pineapple cake, cake or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which I thought was really funny because they were in the bed together and she wakes up. He wakes up and she's got the wedding magazines all over. Yeah, all he's over. Like, I know exactly. He's I've like, I already been playing my wedding. Nine. <laughs> so funny. So Julian, but it's so cute. Which was great. And he's, great. what was the line that he said about her ovaries? <laughs> he said something about like, Taking care of her ovaries and like making it happen or something like that, oh. and she was like, "Ovaries are not sexy." sexy. <laughs> yeah, I forget. What oh, I said. thought I wrote it down, but yeah. I guess I didn't. Yeah. Damn, that was funny though. He had some. He had some good good lines. I'm like grease two again. Yeah. Oh, I do. Uh, talk about grease two. I think it's kind of funny. I like it. 
I do. And I also like, I mean, in the, in the series part, which I think we'll get back to with him, is that he's starting to read scripts. Yeah. yeah. So he's trying to find the next project, mm-hmm. which is kind of exciting. He's got to do something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Waiting for, you know, the movie got sold, but it's going to take time for yeah it to like pick up and be out there. Right. So he's got to keep busy. He's got to do something. He's got to find the next project. Yeah. Which is exciting for him. Yeah. Did you guys, how did you think Brooke reacted to Haley? You know, she comes in, she goes, sorry, don't hate me. I'm pregnant. And then she runs away. Yeah. And I did like that Brooke was like, maybe we can just kidnap her baby. Yeah, it's funny. To and Julian. then I had this like weird yeah, you prediction. You I did was have like, a prediction. <gasps> Haley's going to be Brooke's surrogate. Uh, and then I'm like, wait, no, that's Haley's child. That's actually though. her baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, no, 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 no. That, that's not, that's not going to yeah. happen. That I would mean, be cute, she, though. It might, it might have still happen, but I don't yeah. think she's taking this baby from Haley. <laughs> I don't think she's taking the baby that's off her hands. Yeah, that's, other, uh, that's a kidnapping. A whole Sorry. other way. Um, but then Brooke gets arrested. Yeah. Show up at the door, and we don't know why. Yeah. You and you that. thought. It's because she shot Xavier. <laughs> it but was so long ago. I know it, it was, but this. I couldn't honestly think of anything else. Besides, like, maybe Alexander Coyne did something, like, business-wise yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, wait, did she ever, like, did the cops come that day when she shot Xavier? Like, I couldn't remember. Yeah. yeah. But it was self-defense, obviously. Mm-hmm. Right? And mm-hmm. she killed him that day. Yeah. She killed him. Yeah. yeah. She shot him. Yeah, she shot him. So <laughs> that's what my mind went oh, to. A really long time ago. Oh, really? Like, yeah. Season five season yeah. long time ago season, season long, time, long ago. time ago season long ago because yeah, i was all with sam and everything mm-hmm. that was so long ago yeah uh, season six 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 not five six six you're six. right six the older years. now we're on eight <laughs> we sure are and good night no. <laughs> and bye episodes over <laughs> um Let's see. Who are we talking about now? We were talking about, well, Brooke, Brooke got, got arrested. arrested. Brooke, oh, right, 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 right. And she got arrested. She but got arrested, and you find out it's because of accounting fraud. Yeah. Which. Not good. Which Victoria. And Millie were involved in. Right. And Brooke is pissed. Pissed. Because she got manhandled by man hands. Yeah. A woman with a mustache and big hands. That and I really love funny. when Millie's like. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> I wrote that down. That yeah, was that so she also funny. got. Yeah, you know, you, man hands also. I had checked her, up she on said. her. Yeah, I had her. <laughs> but oh, that's really like, upsetting. Yeah, like they lied yeah. to investors about mm-hmm. their profits. And the I mean, they line. had good intention, but yeah, still. Remind me, did we see this coming? There was one episode where Victoria and Millie had words for like a second, but I don't remember really. Like what it was about. Oh, that that I don't remember. So I don't know if we knew this or like we're supposed to know. I've known this. No, we weren't. Mm. The audience didn't know that this happened. I don't know. This is out of the blue. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I feel bad for Brooke. That sucks. She looked yeah amazing. And though. the green screen <laughs> scene of the everyone whizzing <laughs> past Brooke as the store is emptied. I'm like. She like smoothed a little bit. Like it was like it was she was weird. floating for yeah, a second. Right, yeah. It was like a video it, game. It, well, yeah, it was like a really bad green screen yeah. effect. Yeah. Um Yeah, I feel bad for Brooke. It sucks because she's works <laughs> that pencil scratch. Sorry. No, but I love that sound. Yeah. So yeah. it's like ASMR. Yeah. Um yeah. so it's it's really I think more upsetting to Brooke than that being like taken from her is the fact that Millie and her mom, who she's had such a better relationship yeah. with, kind of betrayed her, yeah. and she like takes out that first back. check. Yeah, Aww. when Millie wrote that check for that dress, which we didn't see the price at first. That dress was thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, I was like, God damn. I know. And in pink ink. Yeah. Yes. Millie Huxtable. I know. So sweet. So that sucks. But like, with I'm just keep thinking about Millie because she was kind of, she's been in and out. Yeah. Kind of in these past, but now mm-hmm. she's in the credits going back to that intro. So I guess right. she's prominent now, yeah. Yeah. which I'm fine with. Mm-hmm. Fine. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> You're just glad Millie's That's back. all I have. Yeah. I mean, we didn't really touch upon Chase and Alex when they. Um, sorry. She, Alex <clears throat> walks in. I, have, I just have the quote here. And yeah. she goes, morning, boyfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and Mia happens to be right standing right there. Mm-hmm. Damn. 
Let's uh, see. I'm, I have here, Chase teaches Alex about working at the bar. Mia sees, walks away. Yes. We had that. Um, Alex goes to see Mia at Red Bedroom. She tries yeah. to say that she's sorry and hopes that there's no hard feelings. But Mia says that she wasn't surprised because stealing boyfriends is Alex's thing. Yeah, she likes to break up couples. But Alex gives it right back and says that this time Mia screwed it up on her own. It's true. It is yeah. true, though. Mia broke up with Chase. She did. Over text, and Chase can't get over that. Yeah. Chase is like, well, at least she, because she it's asked so me out heartless. in person. Yeah. She's like, he, he says to her, like, well, at least she asked me out in person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, you know, Mia broke up over text and then comes to town. And then she's like, I think I made a mistake. Right. Like, you, well, no, girl, you know what? You did make a it mistake. It took him a long time. Well, you know, not that long of a time. But it took <laughs> For him, the audience, it took, it took him a whole episode. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, it was hard for him to finally try to choose to delete the text and kind of try and move on. And it also just looks like, oh, you're home now, so I guess I'm convenient. Convenience. Right. Right. No. Yeah. It doesn't fly like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't mess with Chase's emotions like that. No. And Alex yeah. is going to make him happy. And Alex is... Super thirsty. She's like, always. Let me do my best at trying to. Yeah, seduce I mean Sia. that scene of him teaching her how to bartend, and she sees Mia, mm-hmm. and she just kind of like gives that look, and then that's when she decides to go in there, right? Too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I was hoping that they weren't going to have an altercation with each other. I thought that they were going to like talk. I knew that Mia wasn't going to be about talking with mm-hmm. her, but. Uh, do you think they're going to have more fights? Just little cat fight. Little cat fights. It'll be innocent. It's Chia be versus like... Chex. Chia versus Chex. I think Chia. I'm for Chex. I'm for Chex right currently. Now. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I thought it was funny that Haley said, quote, <clears throat> Good, good. <laughs> great, great quote. <laughs> Sorry. That's good. That's Alex good. is gross. Pick me up. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the one we had to rewind. We had to rewind because I'm like, wait, is that what she actually said? Because that's really funny. Yeah. Even though I don't feel that Alex is gross, but no. apparently Haley thinks Alex is gross. Well, yeah. Obviously, Haley would be Team Mia. Yeah. Chia. Chia. Team Chia. Team Chia. Once you ship it, that's it. That's it. <laughs> once you ship, that's it. Yeah. Once you, you ship. get that, that shirt on teespring.com slash Tree Hill Talk Look Shop. You go. <laughs> And um, on the back is hashtag all of the couples, but it's hashtag Quay. So, yeah. you know, there you go. Just saying. Um, oh, I did write down. Yeah. He said he wanted to romance her ovaries. That was the uh, quote. Yes. I wrote it over yes, here on yes, the yes, side yes, and I put cute. LOL next to it. She's like, mm, it's not very romantic though. Yeah. Well, she was said she wanted to kidnap the baby. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> they're perfect for one another. But it seems like they're dealing with the whole like infertile thing. With yeah, humor. Right. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. They're making progress. Right. Yeah. Um, is that everything? I mean, well, bes- well, let's get to the, wait, did we, is everything good before we get to Kwai and the whole big reveal <laughs> at the end? I think so. Did we touch, you know, we're going to go into our favorites of everything mm-hmm. in now the second half of the episode, but just to sum up. I just think an that's overall like thing, overall general of what happened in the episode. After we see Quay frolicking Ugh. throughout the entire episode, topless and ridiculous, naked and naked, just laying in the, on the beach for, every minute. But once you find out that it was a dream, it's like okay, they're yes, frolicking around. But here is my thought: <laughs> it was a dream just for them, or every one scenario was a dream. Like Brooke losing her store. Um, Nate going like was all that wasn't all a dream then no. because when I watched it as soon as we wrapped up I was like oh so the whole episode was a dream no. is what oh, I was no. thinking no. no not at all and now I'm going back I'm like no no marination no no, no. no, no, no. it wasn't no. just the Koi just stuff just the Koi they're like yeah. in a weird you know limbo limbo, limbo. Yeah. yeah purgatory was like, exactly but really. purgatory yeah. I'm well, I guess I'll save it for like what I'm curious because so much time has gone it's right be overnight, dead. Thinking, overnight like, yeah. you're dead though like you there's no way that you both yeah, are maybe surviving they're dead. this would That's, we care no 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 i would not would we care? get rid of it no i really and i'm thinking i'm like I'm not really sad about it at all mm-hmm. i'm sad i just you again, were more sad when nathan showed up and you're like oh my god is nathan gonna find them that's what i was sad yeah. I was like, oh my god poor nathan Me too. Yeah. and we hear poor the buzzing Nate. we and we, were, we hear the buzzing like the vibrating the audience as the episode is mm-hmm. ending that yeah. was very clever. i liked that yeah that black screen vibration like credits that. yep yes that was awesome 
I liked that. They also did that season three finale when Haley's screaming like, Nathan! Yeah. When he jumps into the river. Mm-hmm. I remember that one. It was like bone chilling. I was like, oh, yeah. that's creepy. But then they did it again. I liked it. It was good. Uh, that was a good uh, thought to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because throughout they're hearing the phone the calls because everyone's trying to reach them. And I guess in their dream state, they're hearing their phone ring, which they show, like they pan out and they show the phone, the right. Blackberry right. like laying there. Next to them. Right. Next to them. Ooh, Being I both just, shot and laying there. I just don't see how this could end good. It just can't. It can't. I mean, maybe for us because they might potentially not survive, but mm. I don't foresee that. But I'm also like, but logic, but logic, hey, blood you, out. There's no logic. <laughs> there is no sure. logic. I mean, just remember, I it's it's. I know. Out. I know. Yeah. So that's gonna be bad. Bad mm-hmm. news for next episode. Ooh, next Thank episode. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Should we take a short break? We're going to take a break. we're taking breaks now. Short break. Short break. And we will be back with our favorites and other little segments that you guys contributed. Yes. So exciting. Remember when this podcast was like a lifestyle podcast, though? Which one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot. We were doing Tree Hill <laughs> Talk. Oh, okay, this oh, is Tree Hill Talk. This is Tree Hill Talk. But it, well, One Tree Hill is a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? And yeah. Yeah. Well, uh-huh. all right. Things and words and things. Such a good segue okay. to our headphones. <laughs> our headphones we love so much from Studio Sweden. Yeah. So we got these amazing headphones, as you've probably heard. They're Studio Sweden. S-U-D-I-O. Sweden. Studio. Studio. Um, we just like to imagine that that's how they say it. Yeah. Yeah. Studio. Um, and they're probably beautiful and wonderful. And oh, yeah. Beautiful. Like friggin' perfection. Sweden God. was a magical place. When I went there, it smelled yeah. like cookies. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Man. <laughs> well, if you like to eat cookies and listen to music or podcasts, you can get yourself a pair of headphones from Studio Sweden. They sent us three. They're amazing. We've been using them. Uh, our podcast is functioning much better with them. It's yeah. the most function it's ever been. Yeah. <laughs> and they're super comfortable. And there's so many different styles. And I was going to say we're rocking the region. Yeah, yes. we are rocking the region yeah. headphones. Rocking them with interchangeable caps. You can put on them. No, but you That's can them sick. Like to your liking very personalized but also stylish it's a scandinavian design i know Ooh, it's like, like I, idea for your out. ears <laughs> yeah. yeah oh girl <laughs> they better use that slogan ikea um, for your you're ears welcome studio <laughs> <laughs> it's ikea for your ears but really go to studiosweden.com and if you use the code one tree, one tree hill, hill one tree hill that's all you gotta put in you get 15 percent off Get yourself some headphones. Get your mom some headphones. Get your dad some headphones. Get your siblings, your friends, you get your 15% significant off. other, your dog, whoever. Get 15% Imagine off. Imagine we should take a picture of like your dog. Oh my God, Loki. Ooh, With Loki in the headphones. <gasps> I can Loki do that. rocking the headphones. would be adorable. All right, well, let's make it happen. Put a, an on the Insta. Put on the Insta. But yeah, definitely check them out, guys. We love them, and I'm sure you guys will too. Especially if you like listening to our podcast, right. you'll hear us so clearly, It'll be so, so clear, crisp and clear. We'll be right no there issues. with you. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay! All right, check them out. Once you hit at checkout, get your discount. Bye. Hi, hey, we're back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, um, we're gonna jump into some questions that we got from our Facebook Live that we did when we were watching this episode. Not episodes. Episode. Just oh, yeah. one. So weird. So weird. Okay. First one is from Rachel Young. Who do you, you oh, well, who do they, be talking <laughs> about you guys, think is going to find Clay and Quinn? Well, I guess it would be Nate, right? Oh. Uh, we see I him walking it, away from the he door. He does walk away. I think it could be Haley. Haley. Because Nate could be like, I have to catch whatever Yeah, he has to go. On. He's like, oh, I didn't catch, you know, Clay before I got, had to go. Maybe you should go pop in. Maybe mm-hmm. Haley will be like, oh, yeah. Oh, God, that's disastrous. But, but how yeah, much time? I can see it. Right. I know. I know we have to, like, throw logic out. Right. I know. it annoys. No, it, yeah. that's a lot this of time. Point. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. I mean, it's to bleed day. out. The whole day. You're dead. To be right. laying there with a gunshot to the chest. Right. To the torso area, at least. Yeah, not good. But and again, yes. we watched a whole day. Do you day. think Katie Ryan will come back and like be like, oh my revive God. Revive them? Not revive. Like, or, I mean, like, well, I mean, like call. Maybe. The. 
and like the ambulance or yeah. like try and do CPR or something. Anonymous call or something. Yeah. I, I don't, don't know. know. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Good question. Good yeah. question. Victoria um, Contreras wants to know, what was going through your mind when Brooke was arrested? I was like, well, we know you. <laughs> Oh, I was yeah. trying to piece together what possibly <laughs> Xavier, <Doug>. yeah, <laughs> whatever got her to that point. Five hundred seasons, five hundred seasons ago. Um, yeah, I was like, Even "Well, she'll be fine. She'll be fine." Yeah, <laughs> that's she'll why I kept thinking she's she'll fine. Be, she's rich. Brooke. They'll bail her out. Yeah. Well, she just got saying to Julian, like, "Oh, I am, you know, that famous rich Brooke Davis right. after all." Right. But now it looks like ooh, mm. she's losing her company. So mm-hmm. yeah, ironically. I knew something with the business, but I wasn't sure what. What Or maybe I was thinking of something happened in New York because Victoria just left her. Right. With Alexander. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something dealing with that. Yeah. 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 Um, Kiara Cleary wants to know, do y'all think Hales is having a boy or a girl? I don't think Haley's having a baby. Yeah. Neither do I. I want her to because I don't want her to have to go through that whole like miscarriage thing. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, but I really can't pretend, I can't see Jamie having a sibling. I just right. can't. Yeah. But if anything, I would see it being another boy because like Lucas, Nate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also Jamie said, oh, I would love to have a brother like you right. and Uncle Lucas. So cute. Mm. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if I saw anything, I, I would see a boy. Yeah. But we currently don't see any baby in her, right. in her future. Yeah. yeah. But then again, we didn't see a baby really in Peyton's future at that point either. I didn't. So true. It's true. Who knows? That is true. We will see. Yeah. Um, Allie wants to know, how would you explain the birds and the bees to the kid? <laughs> That's such a good I question. I think it's bizarre that they call it the birds and the bees. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was like, why do they call it that? <laughs> like I, when I was a kid, I right. didn't understand the birds and the bees. Like uh, why that? I'd be but, like, you know, talk to your father about that. <laughs> you know. I'd probably just be super honest. I'd just be like... So and a and I would probably do the corny. Yeah, so two let's people say, love each other yeah, very much. Yeah, especially like let's say you're explaining it to a kid that is Jamie's age. Yeah, right. so he's seven. what seven, seven, seven yeah. right? Seven going on eight. Yeah, and I would use you know correctly named parts. Right. Yeah. And just explain what happens. Yeah. With puberty and when you get older and and then if they're like I would even go further of like it was two same sex couples. Yeah. They can adopt, adopt or you can have a surrogate. I mean, we can make them real confused. Right. And they're like, what's They're probably, what? for, after yeah. they ask the question, I doubt they probably, they'll really ask they anything else <laughs> after yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'd be super honest, though. Um, let's see. Uh, Victoria also wants to know, do you agree with Victoria and Millie um, about running the company? Like running, well, like how they want, like how do you they agree? went about everything? Right. Uh, well, well, no. <laughs> well, yeah no it wasn't a good um, idea what they did i do i think brooke maybe should have been more involved yeah but victoria kind of like sort of like backhandedly blamed brooke like oh right. well, you, well, haven't, you been haven't been around i was like, Come like on, well you're also her business partner and her mother and you guys have bonded and, and you and need to make smart decisions. Yeah. Like, this is her multi-million dollar company. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> I know. And I said it before, but, like, they meant well, but you can't commit fraud. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, you cannot commit right. fraud. It's not a good choice. And this isn't Victoria's first year doing right. this. Right. It's not oh. her first rodeo. So, right. So it makes you wonder, has she done it before? Maybe yeah. Maybe didn't know. And Millie, yeah. she's impressionable, clearly. Mm-hmm. Um doesn't always make the right choices. Right. And they brought up the Coke. And the, yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> Brooke, you are vicious. When Brooke's mad. You yeah. Know, Do you she blame Millie? Out. No, I don't. I, don't either, I no. would be like, if I was in that position and someone older and yeah. mm-hmm. business savvy and this person's mother and business partner, yeah. I'd be like, uh, okay. I <laughs> think I probably would have like not felt right and maybe told ask maybe told said Brooke, afterwards yeah. yeah i do not feel right about this right. this happened and maybe Brooke maybe been you able can to fix, fix it fix now before yeah. it gets bigger i want to yeah. have your back and all yeah that. that's tricky though Ugh, that's tricky. yeah it is um this isn't a question but it's something that was brought up but i want to just <laughs> read it on twitter erica wolf on twitter said most cringe worthy line per episode for example that's something she wants us to talk about okay so we'll, we'll do it sounds she good she said when clay says i didn't bring a phone that's totally crotch <laughs> Which we mentioned. Yes, but that was the most cringeworthy part of the episode. So thank you, Erica, for, for bringing sure. that up. Yeah. Um, really <laughs> it was bad. super cringy. Uh, uh, you know. 
Quay. Mm-hmm. And that's it with the questions. <gasps> I love the questions. Thanks for your questions. Comments. So we're definitely going to do the questions segment um, continuing <laughs> on. <laughs> to always hitting, always mics. hitting the microphones. Um, continuing on. So please feel free to send us those questions. You can do it. Um, Twitter's the best twitter's best you could for, do it instagram message is usually good yeah but just i, I would avoid instagram because you girls check yeah. the instagram as well if yes yeah, so this is true. uh let's stick probably to the, twitter the tw- yeah twitter's twitter. probably best and dm is great yeah but if you want to just at you know tree hill talk that's fine you can right. tweet us the questions so for next week send us your questions for episode two of season eight and then we will read them and answer them on the podcast right or you can even um, email us. We have treehilltalk at gmail. True. But again, do that all the you time. read the emails. That's true, but I, I wouldn't if you guys wrote like <laughs> in the yeah. bar, like or spoilers. Put, like, spoilers. Yeah. Or just like knowing that it's the next episode, like we wouldn't look at right. it. Okay. But Twitter. Sorry. Twitter. That's, go ahead. That's okay. <laughs> um, okay. So if we want to do some trivia, I have some sent from Tish. Yes. Cool. Love trivia. On Twitter. Um, she said, Hey ladies, don't know when you're recording, but my school schedule is so busy that I don't want to miss you. So here's my trivia. The fact that she takes time Mm -hmm. out from her school schedule to give us trivia is just amazing. Um, episode one, this episode marks the return of a previous element of the show. The opening credits sequence featuring the Uh, Gavin uh, DeGraw song. uh, I don't want to (laughs) be, this is the first time since season four, the credits and the song have played. Um, she also mentions that the episode is named after an album by Rogue Wave and the opening theme song performed by Gavin DeGraw. Right. And then she also said, um, oh, this is a question, so we'll throw it in there. I did have a question about how the girls felt about predicting the out-of-body experience for Quinn and Clay, and also by doing that, does that make the show predictable? (laughs) Because you guys did predict it. Yeah, we did. You guys were like, oh, my God, what if they have, like, a dream sequence? We totally did. We talked about being in a coma. On on commentary as well before this. Yeah. Yeah. A pre-show, I'm sorry. We did go like, yeah, well, they probably have their souls, like, talking to each other in the episode. You guys, and um, I remember hearing you guys say it, too, and I was like, fuck. Yeah, but I didn't kind of predict, I didn't predict it this way. When Lucas was in the coma... And he saw Keith. Oh, and he's walking. He was walking down th- in the school and whatever. Mm-hmm. And it, like he knew he was in the coma, right? right. Like he knew something was. Well, not now right. they know. But now they figured it out. So, do you think next episode we're still gonna have them in this? You know, maybe next limbo? to each other in a hospital bed or something. Yeah, like now they'll know that they're shot. Yeah. So here, let's now that we know, now that we can kind of figure out what yeah. to do next. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I didn't kind of I predicted it in like a silly way, not realizing what they were going to do mm-hmm. and i kind of like the way that they did it actually <gasps> surprisingly did Liz not just say that i like the way that something? the writers okay. wrote that but it's something part. involving but it's and it's revolving quay? around quay oh not quite specifically Someone but the plot around quay <laughs> i liked <laughs> that that was clever it was clever i'm okay. yeah okay yeah. It was clever it's, because we predicted it, but also as the episodes progressed, you didn't predict it, but then you kind of did, uh, you know. They, it was, they it were was, dropping little hints. Yeah. Like Michelle pointed it. out the white clothing. Yeah. Yes. They brought up, there's no one on the beach, no but then could, they were like, ooh, let's skinny let's dip. Let's skinny uh-huh. dip. Yeah. They so kept stupid. everything that was heavy, they made it a little light. Like so you're when, like, oh, okay, when, they're not dead. Yeah, when they say, oh, your phone. And he's like, I didn't bring my phone. That's my crotch or whatever. You know, I, know, I was like, it's like it's all these phone. little weird things are happening. Well, but your phone ha- really was ringing. <laughs> but no, he didn't have his phone. I know, but like as the audience, I was like, oh, are you, you're joking because right. clearly the phone right. is vibrating, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like all these little moments that are supposed to be like kind of, and then the scene with Naily talking about how they can't reach them. That's like also makes you think, oh shit, are they? Mm-hmm. Aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Ideally. I was just still in La La Land watching this episode. <laughs> and plus yeah, only- when Quay comes on, you know how I feel. And I said it earlier, but. I, I mean, I know this was the only, like, everyone else's storyline makes sense that it wasn't a dream, but it's just that one line of, like, when Nate was like, this feels like a dream. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I was like, is this just talking about, I don't know. I'm you just, like, just oh, going to make a note of it. Is it everyone? I mean, it might yeah. be nothing. Yeah. Right. No, but, I know. Because Haley is just great. She, like, she's the only one to me that seems like she's in a dream state compared to Dead Quay. 
Right. Half dead Quay. Yes. Whatever Half they are. Dead. <laughs> Semi dead. Everyone yeah. out like Brilliant Storyline seems legit. Yeah. Yes, that seems legit. Nate seems legit. It checks yeah, and all going, of that. Yeah. But like Haley, she's like, I'm pregnant I know, she's having like a baby a and everything's great. I'm like, are you positive. in a dream state? Mm. And she says, I feel back to myself. She told Nate that she yeah. felt back to herself. Which is which, great. Yeah. It just seems a I know. Little, it's a hard it's hard to believe. I don't know. I'm not sure. Well I mean, we'll see, I we'll guess. We'll see. Yeah. But yes, thank you, Letitia, for that question. Yes, because yes. it was funny yeah, it was of good. us kind uh-huh. of predicting it, but not predicting and it. And I was like, and oh, fuck, they predict everything. Does it make it the show predictable? I mean, we've kind of have to understand that the show goes there yeah. with a lot mm-hmm. of things. I mean, we had Nanny Carey, Psycho Derek, all those right. like silly plots, yeah, it's like, especially Katie Ryan. I mean, she's the one who actually, she, sh- she just shot them. Yeah. So to have this you know dream thing mm-hmm. yeah i i guess it's predictable you learn to know what you're watching right and then you understand i the mean style. after eight seasons yeah well seven almost now eight seasons mm-hmm. you know you, you kind of learn yeah, <laughs> what, yeah. Sure. what they're doing um there was a nice little reference to a previous episode um when brooke is discussing her and peyton building snow forts in the snow um that was also brought up in with tired eyes, tired minds, tired souls. We, we slept sleep. <laughs> when um, Peyton was telling Lucas about how they used to build snow yeah, forts when true. she was shot and bleeding yeah. out. So those snow forts being built together are brought that's up really two sweet. times. Mm. They show Peyton. Peyton. Peyton Shoyer Scott. Um, that's it on my references. Those were great wow, thank you. Um, <laughs> do we want to chat about our favorite and least favorite characters? Sure. Favorite character? Um, I'll go first with yes, my favorite. Please. I'm going to give it to Nate. Oh. My favorite was Nathan because I loved all of the dad scenes. Mm. And he had really good dialogue and lines. He and had like, words? He, ha- he had lines <laughs> that weren't just like short seconds. Yeah. He was actually showing emotion and you know, being funny and flirty and a good dad and had stuff going on. Oh. And he made me laugh and he's gorgeous. And yeah. he, I like, I love the Jamie scenes and when he's like all awkward mm-hmm. and happy with Haley and it was just good. Yeah. So he was my fave. I have to also agree. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, we all unanimous. To unanimous. Me. I yeah. bet you are at least is going to be unanimous as well. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, as far as ever, I loved everything you said. I 100% agree. I yeah. also really liked, even though Brooke had a shitty deck, I really liked her mm-hmm. in these, in this ep- in yeah. these, in this episode, yeah. this one episode. I know, right? It's, we're so used it's to saying these yeah, episodes. I know. It's habit, but I just, she's, I'm, doo doo. She's a, yeah, she's a, a runner up. <laughs> I've been on, I've been on the Brooke train for a while now. Yeah. But, uh, I just really I enjoyed her. Mm-hmm. And I loved like her whole look. I loved. I oh, mean, yeah. I don't want to we'll like, jump looks. ahead into that, but she looks so amazing. Yeah, we'll talk about looks for sure. Everyone, mm-hmm. everyone s- stepped overall. up overall. Yeah, yeah. Least least favorite <laughs> Quinn, but like I feel bad because she's dead. So is mm. it's just Quinn. dead-ish. It's just Quinn. You can yeah, only pick just one. Quinn. Just one Quinn. character. Just Quinn. Can't do Quay as a whole. No, I understand. <laughs> I understand the rules. Even <laughs> even when she's in like the dream state, I still I she's know. so annoying. I I still don't feel anything for her. I felt bad-ish that this could happen to a human being, so yeah. on that level. Mm-hmm. But it's her, so I'm like, meh. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. So that's my least favorite <laughs> um, I, of this episode. Really? I, yeah. I'm trying to think who else was in it. I didn't really, like, love Mia. No, I didn't either. Yeah, Mia wasn't doing but it But I for wouldn't me. say she was my least favorite. She wasn't my least only because... Because Quinn's there. The, Quinn's, <laughs> the Quinn and Clay scenes were... Dreadful. It's hard for me because I knew that they were in a dream state. So right. I looked at it as like a dreamy like... Was oh this my this, God, we're this was only the frolic. second time that you've ever watched that episode right. though, but right? But I, I so knew... I, yeah. I okay. knew like that's how it opened up. So part of me watching it, I'm like... They're dreaming. They're frolicking around. Like, like this is ew. totally what Clay would be dreaming. Is Quinn topless running around on a yeah, beach? Right? Yeah, right. He's, and a, he's Clay, a little perv. He's a little horn dog. <laughs> and you know, same thing with Quinn being with Clay all day, just laying around. But I mean, if I have to give it to someone, I guess I'd have to say Quinn too. 
Unanimous. Unanimous. But I don't hate her three like you three. guys do. It's just it wasn't I had a hatred. Her. It wasn't a hatred. It was Alex, just like Alex ugh. is there too with this episode because I'm like yeah, she was a little petty. Breaks. She's a little petty. A little petty. A little pet. Which I was like, ah oh, man, come on. Yeah, like she was doing so well, and I think that yeah. she's kind of backpedaling a little bit Agreed. into her old ways. I like, was going to say that before, but she I was is. Like, eh. She's into Chase, but like you don't have to go after me and be like me. I'm right. Like, like rub it unnecessary. In her face. Yeah. yeah. Territorial, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. very mm-hmm. much so. Yeah, and it was kind of like the same pattern what she did to Julian, yeah, and mm-hmm. Brooke. That's why Mia brought that up, that's, right? That's, that's like her mo. It is, yeah. and yeah. Alex is like, well, yeah, yeah actually, that's what I do. <laughs> she embraces it. Yeah, she's when she wants something, she usually gets yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, do we want to do our favorite hairstyle and fashion choices? Yes. Woo. Um. <laughs> I'm going to give... I wonder if we'll have the same one. Best hair. Well, well do we want to do boys and girls? Like, how do... Or are we just overall I'm with everybody? Overall. overall. Mm, I'm Ooh, doing I'm Julian. Tough. See, tough I'm, overall. I'm torn between Julian and Brooke. Because I love Brooke with the the middle the part li- and, and the, the lighter lightness. And the lighter. All right, we could do boy and girl. <laughs> but I did love... There was a, I think it's the scene where he has the leather jacket on it and it's like his side profile. And you just see the his side hair is swoop like of swoop, the hair. Yeah. Because bef- last season it was like. His hair was getting a little poofy. It was poofy, but it was like curly and kind of scraggly a little bit. Like yeah. not. I think they found how to mm-hmm. give him a little swoop. 100%. So, yeah. I'm going to give it to Julian. Me too. Because the whole, the whole package. We'll throw fashion in I there. Even that leather jacket did it for me. <laughs> the court scene. He's outside the court in that oh, like yeah. mm-hmm. cotton linen yes. denim yep. shirt with yeah. that. Like, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I did not like his hair. Like you've always been like Julian, Julian, mm-hmm. so hot, so hot. This episode, I'm like, okay. Yes. Yeah. We're <laughs> the there. The hair. Yeah, the hair. It's it improved the a lot. Longish, mm-hmm. swoopy, the swoop, the the whole pattern. Julian. It's I funny because you. they, in the beginning, you know, in the Gavin DeGraw mm-hmm. opening, they you see him go from buzzed right. to like, yeah. the scra- yeah. like the scraggly hair and now, in, you know, current. So it's just like, oh, you really made a change. Yeah. I definitely don't like his buzzed hair. Um, I didn't like his hair last season either yeah. towards the end. This isn't my favorite look for him. I like, I like the clean, like little spiky buzz not buzzed like i know what you yeah. know what i mean like gotcha. just a little gotcha. little bits on the end little bits <laughs> but he does uh, he's adorable i do like yeah. the the, the, the swoop. Side it's just little, not my favorite on him yeah. i'm gonna give my favorite overall like hair and style brooke brooke yeah i loved her light hair remember when, when the scene opened up i was like her hair looks so blonde yeah, I yeah. See too, and yeah. ing's like no nah, it's just the lighting <laughs> <laughs> but it really didn't when she turned around it didn't really look light right. and then as a, they blew it out like the next couple of scenes I was like oh god yeah, it looks they put, so like, good in it. it just looked really good on her and like her yeah. coloring and, and her I outfits. loved the outfit when she the last scene yep. with like the corset with the black skirt I was yep. like yes yeah. I love that that yeah. was like my favorite They're, like one of my favorite looks that she's like ever worn yeah and obviously with she the middle part and just the loved wavy it. hair yeah yeah, I it mean, it's more current for you right. know, us in 2017. So yeah. she just, oh, she got us. And I have to say, I did like Quinn's hair. Okay? Wow. <laughs> wow. Is that Not a- my favorite, but I did like it. I like her okay. hair blonde. I like, yeah. she's, she's beautiful no matter what, but I really like her blonde. Mm-hmm. Is your favorite outfit leather jacket? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm, I'm hung up on that leather <laughs> grease jacket. Too. Yeah, the grease lightning got me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it to the outside the court with Julian. Yeah. So uh, Julian both, mm-hmm. both Julian. Yeah, got two for Julian, one for Brooke. It yeah. made me open my eyes to Julian. <laughs> Michelle's like, like, "Hello, I'm awake." <laughs> yeah, that linen, little, that like cotton yeah, denim he looked linen, real shirt. good in that. The little twinkle, real good. twinkle in her eye. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I like, see you, Julian. Oh, I, I see, see you, Julian. <laughs> I see you over there. How you doing? How you doing, Julian? Do we want to go into our favorite quote? Yeah, I yeah. have a couple. Uh, but I feel like I may, might have read them already. <laughs> but I'll go to my favorite. Well, I had one that I found. Well, I loved the, by the way, Peyton says hi. Yeah. That's her favorite quote. No, <laughs> Dingo out of the wallaby. Oh, yes. I wrote that one too. That yeah. was great. That was yeah, great. Yeah, get, get the dingo out of your wallaby. That was Brooke talking to her mother. Yeah. Yeah. About I think I'm going to go with that one. That was a good we one. We didn't see Alexander. 
this episode. I'm fine with I, it. That's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. I'm I'm fine. No, I I love Victoria. I'm glad that we got to see her because we were a little nervous when we left off season seven. We're like, oh no, she's going to New York. Are we not going to see her? But her and Millie made an Man, appearance. It's so. hard. It's to, hard. To, there's a lot of funny ones that I liked. Um, yeah, I have the uh, so many. Like all the quotes between Julian and Brooke about like stealing the baby and romancing her ovaries was funny. Yeah. And then there was a lot of naily conversations like make war, not love babe. That was a good one. I think my favorite has to go to Jamie where he says, so that baby thing, how does that work? That yeah, baby I like, like that really too. laugh. He's like, how, how does that work? I also liked when Nathan said he was like a ninja, like a three foot tall. <laughs> where do babies come from? Where ninja. Do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's good. Oh, and you know, when I also liked when Millie said, I had her. I had had yeah. I, had I her. wrote that and then I actually put LOL. <laughs> Me yeah. too. I wrote LOL. So, yeah. I had her. I had her. <laughs> Man hands. <laughs> that was a good one. I oh. did really like LOL though. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I also wrote how uh, Victoria said, I am not 50. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really Millie, good. Because Millie, she said, oh, zero is a size. And Millie said, you know, 50, 50 is, is an age. Is an age, yeah. Said, I am not 50. Yeah. Oh, she's the best. She's the best. I felt, um, but like always, and I thought maybe it'd be different because now we're like, you know, watching like not on Netflix, but like the DVD or whatever. Right. Mm. The music is too loud. No, it, it is, is still loud. loud. It's like they reverted back to season one. And it, it's is like, it is loud. way, <laughs> way. And someone, I know someone said it's either our television. Is it what we're watching? Like, it's just because the DVDs were supposed to be lower, right? Yeah, but this isn't. This is their digital version. Yeah, there were some some points where there was one point where Sophia's voice was very low. You can't and hear. And she was talking to Austin, right. you know, in the scene. And I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> She's like, what was that? Coming I in? mean, she was also whispering it sort of. And the music was just really loud. So I was like, the combination of both. I'm like, I have no idea what you just said. So. Right. And usually, some t- I mean, sometimes we discuss like the use of music and how it works in certain scenes. But this mm. episode, I didn't really. There was nothing that I hung on to. Yeah. Unless yeah. I'm missing Since you something. M- I can mention the music. Yeah. Yes, you brought please. it up. Yeah. Segue. There really wasn't recognizable music mm-hmm. at all, though, in the in the whole episode. So noise. we just had like noise. Yeah. yeah, we had All in a Day by The Open Sea, Happy by The Daylights, I'll Do Better by Jared Gorbel, Stick to Your Guns by Onward Soldiers, The Search by Setting Fires, There's a Light by Jay Melanowski, and We Did It When We Were Young by The Gaslight Anthem. Oh, nice. Yeah. And um, we had no mouth this no episode. No mouth. So. We. Oh, and this is the 153rd episode, oh, by the wow. way. Okay. I had that here at the top of my Trivia? page here. Yeah. 153rd produced episode of the series. Wow. And as we said, it you know, September 14th, 2010. Yep. Crazy shit. Overall feeling of the episode as a as a jump as a start whole? for well, season eight. I was thinking whole about for this season eight as we're been recording for the past marinating year. marinating I was marinating. marinating. I like this better than season seven opening. That was okay. my whole entire thought. You took but, it out of my mouth, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. that's just because we're used to these new players. Yes, okay, I agree one thousand percent. You know what you. I mean? And yeah. when I'm not like fresh off the boat. Of, of missing of missing, the latent. Yeah. Right. Makes sense. You're, you're absolutely right. That's Your what, wounds That's have exactly healed. what I was going to a say. Bit. I liked it better than bit. season seven. A little bit. Much better than season seven. Yeah, because now opening, we understand least. where we're going and we need yeah. to work with these characters. Mm-hmm. But it's still, it just still feels, we just don't know her. <laughs> no. We just don't know her. Guys, we're going to be saying this for literally sorry, but until not the sorry. last episode. Yeah. Um, we I'm curious when give I her wanna, something, give her depth. Well, There's I, nothing. I want to well, know they from gave our gunshot wound. They did. I yeah, want to know from our listeners enough. when did what episode did you guys start liking Quay? Quay, or if and you can't Quinn. think of like exactly the episode, like what like plot maybe that changed your feelings, or to, maybe you always felt like well, yeah, you loved them. If you're gonna say Ingrid, a plot, 
send it to me. <laughs> send it yeah, to well, Ingrid. send it to Ingrid, yeah. and then she will then if she know, can tell us, she will tell us if she can at the appropriate time. Yeah, Michelle and I just we just can't get. We probably sound like broken records. I know. I'm sorry. Whatever. Sorry, not sorry. It's like where's Royal? We can say that for as. This is my fucking podcast, and I can say whatever <laughs> I want. Um, it's like you could. I just. Royal. I know we sound like broken records, but also like, this is our therapy session. We just watched One what Tree was, Hill. What was we the have quote? One Tree Hill podcast, what and was, we need to vent. What was the quote that you guys said about Deb during while we were watching during oh. the live stream? It was funny, and you were like, "Let's put on a T-shirt," but Damn I just don't it. remember what it was. It's okay. It's recorded. We can go back and look. Yeah. During the live stream. Yeah. We brought up, you brought up Oh, Deb. no, no, no. It was when we did our pre-show. Oh, pre-show. Something said, about Deb. And it was funny. Yeah, I'm it with was. Deb. No? no? No. We have to go back and listen. Something we'll with Deb. Back. We'll have to get it. Well, if you have access to our pre-shows <laughs> on Patreon. <laughs> then you'll know what quote know we're talking quote. about. Yeah. Um, and then our, that t-shirt will be on Teespring because I'm yeah. going to make it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so I just, I'm sorry that we sound like broken records, but also not sorry because I don't know how else to feel. I That's can't. okay. It's how you feel. It's I just, honest. I, I can't. And I, and this, and my like hope for this, if you listen to pre-show was for me to like quay more. <laughs> Because by, I by find episode one? something no like just my oh, overall general like, Girl, shoot, general <laughs> goal of season eight is for me to appreciate Quay or slash Quinn as a character and I just don't foresee it. I'm trying. I really think hard. you will. Oh wow! If Ingrid's saying that I am, then I am. They'll never be your favorite. Remember but I think when you were you like, you'll be on the book train? I was like. Mm. Yeah, look at you now, girl. Well, you just do that. Choo, at least Brooke, choo, choo. Oh, she's so different. Mm, yeah. She's so it, different. No, it's totally different. You can't different. really compare. I know. I know. You can't. I know. I get it, girls. I've been there. Yeah. Uh, I know. When? Okay. I was going to say, when did you like I start liking Quinn? <laughs> but it's not currently. It wasn't yeah, current. Yeah, like I wasn't, I didn't hate them as much as you guys no. did. They didn't like annoy me that much back then i don't remember being annoyed by them like you guys are <laughs> i just was just like they're there whatever like i was more into what else was going on but would you say come like around season eight sure oh, she's not giving anything away. i'm not giving anything <laughs> no away. i know i don't want you to obviously tell me like oh in this episode i honestly but think your hate will lessen well, well, it already it, did that's because all I'm can off ask hate. For. I'm just in neutral, neutral, neutral the position. The thing is, the I thing don't is, know. Right? Neutral the, annoyance. The words I hear. I know it's a trigger. It's triggered because when we're watching, like, <laughs> nor, like right now, I'm like, okay, she's whatever. I'm neutral. I don't like her. I don't hate her. <laughs> but then when I watch her, I'm like, <laughs> I know. Literally, you hear the grunts every so, single time. Every we're scene like, oh. back to the beach. I'm like, come on. Me yeah. too. I was like, more nearly. I don't see it. More something else. So yeah. perhaps it's just when I'm watching. I know. So anyway, yeah, so we're triggered by actually seeing their faces. Yeah, <laughs> terrible not as really, it is. Not so much Clay. Not Clay. More but Clay, Clay kind of was like no, he was a derpy in this episode again. I was like, ugh. I liked you, and then you like started dating Quinn. I was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, terrible. I'm a terrible human being. No, it's okay. Yeah, everyone's t- entitled I'm, to their I opinions. I want to. I'm. I'm gonna try, and that's all anyone can ask, right? Yeah, so I'm just gonna 100%. try. Hundred percent, and I, I'll do my best. That's it. That's, that's all, all I can, can do. do. That's all you can do. <laughs> Again, if you are Team Quay, Team Quinn, please let us know why. Yeah. Um. Try give, and convince us to come to give, the dark side. Give the girls some hope. Give us something. Give them something to live for. It's painful. Um, it's painful. Yeah. Season eight is not the best, but we're going to get through <laughs> it, girls. It's not we looking good. <laughs> got this. Are there some gems? Yes. Sure. Are there some rocks of just, you know, oh my there God. is. It's one of the, it's that season when you're watching a show for so long that you're, you're just like, like oh. this should have ended a while ago. But there are good parts. Like there's good, there's ups and downs. Of there's course. A lot of ups and I a lot more it. downs. There's a lot more <laughs> downtime than uptime. I think it's saying that. But I know. We will be okay. We'll we be okay, will. Guys. It's kind of nice that we only have to watch it once a week. I know. Yeah, it's true. Because if I had to watch two bad 
Mm-hmm. It's like that's why I felt like seven was a little bit like like yeah, it was overwhelmingly right. bad. Just, <laughs> like, too I, much, is just too much bad things. Yeah. But I think bad now thoughts. that we're doing one a week, yeah, and we can okay. relax, and now we can we can rejuvenate and come mm-hmm. back Cleanse. next week and be like, you know what, Cleanse positive quay, and then I'm sure it will let us down, but at least we can rejuvenate mm-hmm. and come back next Episode week about two, it. <laughs> we might need cocktails. Oh, Jesus. Drinks. We'll get some drinks. That's fine. That we'll get some fun. drinks. That so w- <gasps> that we would sh- we should do like a tipsy. Can we one do a blue drink? Episode. Yes. Can we put like food coloring in something and make like a chase. Yes, blue I want to make this blue drink. I just showed Inger before yeah. on um on Delish. Mm-hmm. Mm. It has like little crystal. You put it. So mm. if, I mean, <laughs> if we're gonna be live, <laughs> little hand movement. <laughs> if we're gonna be live streaming these episodes of us watching it. You know, people can join in and have a drink with have us. Have a cocktail. Yeah. Have a cocktail. Cocktail, cocktail hour. Yeah, cocktail. it'll be a cocktail. It hour. will be a cocktail hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe have a little, little, little snack. Sip and watch. Little snacky. Sip and watch. Snackies. Hopefully, hopefully Just the alcohol will get us through. The visual could be no, sip honestly, and watch with us tonight. <laughs> I'm already creating oh, it, guys. Season eight, <laughs> sip and watch. Yeah, I'm all. We about need it. it. We need yeah. it because okay. we need it. So if you want to join, that's amazing. Actually, <laughs> I'm so bad at. Please let's have it. So if you want to join our new sip and watch segment <laughs> that we watch. just uh, created, I'm hashtag obsessed. <laughs> hashtag obsessed with sip and watch. Okay, so our sip and watches are mm-hmm. going to be on our Patreon page. So patreon.com slash treehilltalk. If you go to treehilltalk.com and click the support link, it'll take you there as well. Um, and uh, let's if double check. If you haven't been to treehilltalk.com, you totally yeah, should because it's Michelle a hub. Puts, yeah, Michelle put together this amazing website for us. Well, yeah, we have the links to all of our And uh, I want to tell you this specific, because te- sometimes people ask us how Patreon works exactly. So I want to... I'm just going to go over our tiers again. You do that. Because to refresh since new this is, New year, new, new us. New year, new <laughs> us. Even though it's still it almost <laughs> new January. Season, new, new season. Okay, so pretty much Patreon is a crowdfunding site. So people that do creative things like podcasts or YouTube channels or artwork, right. et cetera, et cetera. Um, they, it's a way to support these creators. So we have one that a bunch of you amazing listeners contribute to and you can contribute anywhere between a dollar a month which is nothing you know a dollar is it's just cheaper four than your quarters. coffee that's all it is but it is cheaper means than your coffee so much to but us it, it, no it, that's what it, it, those four quarters get us get us somewhere so <laughs> yeah so it could be a dollar all the way up to fifty dollars a month so I'm just going to go over the tiers and some of the perks that you get. So if you want to pledge a dollar a month, that's the Ravens. And um, that enters you into our monthly giveaway to get a shout out on the podcast. Our $5 tier is the Keith Scott Body Shop crew. Um, and you get uh, the podcast early and you get bonus content. So you get all the access to the bonus content on um, Patreon and you get to... Join the birthday club. Birthday so, club is awesome. So the birthday club, you get a gift on your birthday from us, which is super exciting. Our next tier is Close Over Bros, which is $10 um, a month. You get all the previous uh, rewards and you get visuals. So you get visual podcast and commentary. And um, you also get a little surprise gift from yes. us in the mail. And this is the tier if you want to join the live stream. So if you join close over bros tier that is how you get access to the live streams that we're going to be doing now for every episode so as long as technology is with us we're going to be doing our sip and watch grab a cocktail grab some snacks and you can watch one tree hill with us each week and that's the tier where you'll be able to do that the next one is trick team that is twenty dollars a month and um you get all the previous rewards and you also get to guest host an episode of tree hill talk with us so you get to call in on skype and join us and then the final royal treatment tier is the 50 dollars a month you get all the previous rewards you get to guest host um on an episode of tree hill talk once per season so you get to do it multiple times and you get a wonder hill mystery box which includes a t-shirt and other wonder hill goodies we just every month sent out the red bedroom records box yep. so this month's was red bedroom records themed and you get a t-shirt and other cool stuff and you guys always post pictures of them yeah and, and please do the hashtag tree hill talk uh wait no that wasn't it 
It's <laughs> THT Royal Treatment. I'm so go. sorry. <laughs> TH, hashtag THT Royal Treatment. THT and we Royal can treatment. see your pictures of all the cool gear you guys get. They are really cool. Oh, and I love that. This box um, coming up will be great. So special. if you a jumped in box. there and you, by the time you're listening to this, if you signed up, you're going to get a good one. Yeah. It's the end of the year big bonanza. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do you want to read yeah. our listener of the week? Yes. I so we're doing yeah. a new segment. So mm-hmm. our new segment is we um, are going to read one of our favorite rate uh, reviews from our iTunes. Mm-hmm. So actually, well, we could do it really from anywhere. Yeah. But I picked one from iTunes today. Very important. Very uh, important. Uh, Very iTunes. important that you rate, review, rate review and <laughs> thank you, Michelle. Yes, rate, yes. R- review and subscribe on iTunes if you listen to us on there. Um, so this is by Jesse three Oh six five. Oh, Hey, Hey, finally a great podcast for one tree hill lovers. She said, or he, I'm sorry. I started watching the show about three years ago and it became my favorite. I always searched for a podcast about it, but couldn't find any until yesterday. You guys are funny, smart, and I like your ideas. It's awesome to hear your reactions while watching for the first time. I guess I am going to be watching the show for the fourth time so I can watch it with you guys too. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Jesse. Three hours like five. Yeah. So thank if you, you. want to be our listener of the week, um, best way to do it is we're always scoping out iTunes. So if you listen on iTunes, uh, go to our uh, podcast page and leave a little review. It could be whatever you feel like and. Five stars would be great. We love five. No and pressure, but yeah. five is great. <laughs> so that is the best way to become our listener of the week. Yes. Yay. We love Yay. you guys. And um, should I read our Patreons? Yeah. <laughs> or our patrons. patrons. Our patrons on Patreon. Yeah. Our patrons on Patreon. Liz is going to shout you guys out so now. So those are, uh, well, I guess should I start? I'll start um, from the top. Um, yes. <coughs> Sorry, Michelle. Go ahead. <gasps> <gasps> Michelle, oh my god! <laughs> Michelle has her segment. She clears her th- it's called roll call. Well, <laughs> now roll call. No, I, I, oh, I'm, I'm still sorry. Right. <laughs> roll call. Thank you miss enthusiastic. Okay, so we'll start from the real treatment, which is the big fifty dollar box uh, tier. We have Kelsey, Jessica, Teresa, Elizabeth, Michaela, Joshua, and Nicole. Hell yeah! The trick team. We have Sangeetha, Allison, and Letitia. Ooh. Close over bros, we have Jason, Kendall, Logan, Ryan, Amanda, Kaylin, Kristen, Steve, Sophie, Monica, Chandler, Adana, Allie, Gwen, and Brittany. Whoa. 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 Keith Scott Body Shop crew, we have Jake, Tevin, Keegan, Shanique, Erin, Hannah, Jaminica, Erica, Kayla, Tyra, Manon, and Jessalyn. <laughs> And then the Ravens, we have Alicia, Jill, and Mandy. Yay! You guys are awesome. So you guys are the best humans on the planet because you support the show. We love you so much. So much. You Michelle run this podcast, really. Yeah, you pretty much run this thing. <laughs> you keep it going, and you make it bigger and better and more wonderful. <laughs> Michelle has a Santa hat Michelle on Michelle has now. a Santa hat on, and she's <laughs> holding the a poop little poop emoji. emoji. We used to and take little snapshots of us. We need to we do that, need more. To do that oh, more. Oh, we do need to do. Anyway. As we're taking... As they, like, <laughs> I was going to keep talking. Pause for like, the dramatic effect. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for sticking with us this long and being amazing. And we love doing this every week. And we're excited for this kind of new, fresh new format. format. Um, take a look at our website if you haven't already treehilltalk.com all of our links are there it also links you to we have a shop that has some cool winter hill stuff um some of our favorite quotes from the podcast that have emerged some inside jokes if you listen to the podcast so you can definitely find those links there it also takes you to the patreon if that's something that tickles your fancy um we were talking a little bit about maybe making the boxes bi-monthly we're going to post more details about that on um, Patreon so those that are part of that tier can kind of help us decide whether or not that's something they would like. If they do become bi-monthly, they will be bigger and better boxes. Yeah, so just saying. <laughs> it just gives us more time to get our stuff together from OTH merch that helps us out because, you know, sometimes shipping takes a while and that's why usually you get your boxes at the end of the month. Right. But if we do bi-monthly, we can put together bigger boxes for you guys and... Um, get those out to you so 
if that's something you're into, go over there. Let us know. We'll start a thread and we'll make it happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we made it to season eight, guys. We did. Holy we started. Crap. We're here. Mm-hmm. We're ready. I'm excited about this watch and sip thing. Yeah, watch and sip. <laughs> I'm gonna really excited. Sip and watch. Sip and watch. I think we call it. Sip and watch. Sip, sip and watch and season watch. eight mm-hmm. because we're gonna need it. Yeah. Da da da. Because we're gonna need it. <laughs> Hashtag because we're gonna need it. Um, we'll see you guys next week. We love you so much. Yes. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.